What we did at our site is the inpatient nurses and the outpatient nurses received the same um, education and it's the same team of people who meet the patient, inpatient, uh, provide them some education and then it's that team hands off to the outpatient nurses and we also use the same information. So that sort of um, information to patients which is consistent um, is helpful I think and everybody on the team knows exactly where the patient has you know, received their uh, teaching and then where they might be at risk for um, not being able to complete therapy either for transportation or nutrition issues or whatever. Um, so our team works at trying to tie those pieces together for patients and then every time the patient comes in for treatment they're all assessed on the same uh, assessment form so that we can identify people who may be at risk not to complete therapy. And as you know, in our center, 100% of the women were actually able to complete chemotherapy, to complete the intraperitoneal chemotherapy, which is substantially better than the national information, which is somewhere between 60, 40, and 65% of people complete all of their cycles of intraperitoneal chemotherapy. 